Right now, there's controversy surrounding the rescue of dogs that arrived on a plane to O'Hare. They reportedly survived difficult conditions, but one local shelter is now fighting just to keep them in the country. Here's NBC5's Chris Coffey. Huh. French bulldogs are playful and popular. They think they're an extension of the family, so they're very personable and very loving. Mary Shefke runs a rescue group in Chicago. She has been trying to help find 15 French bulldog puppies flown in from overseas new homes. Police say they located 17 dogs in small cages covered in their own filth and without food and water at a cargo facility near O'Hare last month. Shefke says the CDC should have put the dogs back on the plane the moment it realized they did not have the required documents. If it hadn't been for the Good Samaritan that approached the police to make them aware of the situation, how many days would those dogs have sat in that warehouse? Nobody was proactive. The dogs were discovered four days after landing at O'Hare, and Shefke says her group was asked to help. So they picked up the bulldogs and sent them to area vets. She says it's cost $20,000 to nurse the dogs back to health and quarantine them. But Shefke says the CDC now wants to send the dogs back to where they came from. Once the vets say they're healthy enough, there's no reason that they can't go into loving foster homes, continue to work on their health care, continue to work on socialization development that's healthy for them, instead of sending them back in a plane and God only knows what's going to happen. Shefke says the rescue has exhausted its options and has no choice but to comply with the government's and order. We don't know if they'll survive this whole, whole ordeal again. The CDC did not respond to our repeated requests for comment. Meanwhile, the city of Chicago says it's been housing two dogs on behalf of the CDC and that the dogs will be flown by Royal Jordanian Airlines to Oman next week. At O'Hare, Chris Coffey, NBC5 News.